Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be filming a green smoky eye. Um, I'm going to be recreating the look that I posted on my Instagram like two, three weeks ago because I got some requests to film a tutorial for it. So definitely if you have any requests or suggestions for videos or makeup tutorials you'd like to see, I will be sure to film them eventually. It's the first time that I'm filming a tutorial and I'm actually going out. Um, tonight I'm going with a bunch of my good friends to go see... 50 shades darker we were all too young to see the first one because when it came out because in canada it's rated 16 and up i mean my friends are all 17 and 18 now but when the first one came out we're only 15 so yeah that kind of sucked but i'm old enough now so i'm super excited yeah i have my foundation on eyebrows um i put eyeshadow primer i use urban decay primer potion i think it was just an original really love that one i'm just using tape today on my eyes um because in that picture i didn't but today i will so Enough talking, enough talking, Taylor. Let's get started with the makeup. So first, I'm going to start off with some neutral colors, I guess. What do I want to start off with? I got this new BH Cosmetics Modern Neutrals Palette at Winners with 28 eyeshadows, and it's just so beautiful. And the main reason I got it was for these orange shades, because orange is my favorite eyeshadow. And I'm just mm, so in love with it. I've used it so many times already. So, oh wait, first I'm just going to set my eyeshadow primer with just a cream shade all over my lid. Just grab a mirror. Just set that. And I always put eyeshadow primer on my lower lash line because I always like to put eyeshadow there. If you do like to put eyeshadow on your lower lash line, don't forget to put eyeshadow primer. So next I'm going to take this light warm brown. And just apply that in my crease. This like cool tone brown. And apply that in my crease. I'm just gonna tap off the excess. And apply that in my crease. I've been um, really light-handed lately when I do my makeup because sometimes I just want it to be more precise. I go in too hard sometimes. Well, actually, most of the time. Because I'm like, I just want it to be blended. But, you know, you have to just take your time when blending, really. This, like, muted green. Well, it's like a muted teal, actually. And apply that in my crease. Okay, I'm just going to dip in some more. <laughs> okay, there we go. Ooh, cool. Next, I'm going to take my Tarte palette and grab oops, this shade. Just a nice mocha brown, just a little bit to just like define the crease a bit more and go in the crease. Because I don't want it to completely cover that teal shade we just put, I just want to add more depth. Notice that my makeup is always the best when I film tutorials. And I never go out afterwards, so it's always just such a shame. But today I am. So I'm just gonna. Ooh, oh, my brush almost fell. I'm just gonna take a flat shader brush and grab the star of the show. Is this H and M um, single eyeshadow in the new U? It's just this beautiful um, teal green shade. Like so pigmented. So let's watch the magic. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, it's like some. Oh, frick! Got some fallout there, but. Okay, I have to tap my brush off next time, but. <gasps> I feel like that video on Instagram with that guy with the green hair, and he's like, oh my god, I was just almost done my makeup. And he falls in his bed. I'm just gonna fix that with concealer. No worries. Okay. 
I'm just going to take a crease brush and just blend um, the crease out. Go back in with this dark brown because I don't want to lose like the depth that I just created. Now I'm going to take this white shade. I just highlighted my inner corner with that white as well. And now I'm going to just do my lower lash line. I'm just going to take this um, brown that I used for my crease. And apply that on my lower lash line. And with the new you. And apply that on my lower lash line. But... I'm not going to drag it down too much and just try to sit close to, close to my lash line. I just went in and did some last minute blending and I just think it looks so awesome. So let's just remove the tape. Oh yes. So I just want to show you how I blend around the eyeshadow. Be very careful with the um, the line here, and just blend the lower lash line. I like to keep the line sharp and harsh. Set my under eyes with my beloved banana powder from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I always set my under eyes with a banana powder and then set my whole face with a different powder. And part where I put this, anywhere I put the concealer, I put the banana powder. I've also been loving the bronzers in my Anastasia Contour Kit. So I always use um, one of these shades to bronze and then I contour with the middle shade to just oopsie, bronze my face. And lately, like, I try to always stay upwards so the line is just more defined. Like, my contour is more defined. I'm going to dip into the contour shade and contour my face. I like to pinch my brush to, like, um, create the outline first. And then blend. Gonna take this blush brush from Real Techniques and just you know blend out anything that looks harsh. And what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, and then to just contour my nose, I just take the middle shade and to contour my bottom lip as well. So I believe in that picture I wasn't wearing blush, but today I will. I've been really liking this shimmery blush in my e.l.f. Um, blush palette, this bottom right one. Just going to take it with the blush brush and apply it on my cheeks. I've been really, really loving my Physicians Formula Organic Wear Mascara. I've really learned how to use this properly and learn how to build it up you really just have to keep wiggling the wand in your lashes i feel like my eyes look really golden brown right now but a tip that i got from rachel leary and i've been doing all week to make your highlight stand out more and just be more poppin and last longer is applying a liquid or cream highlighter beneath your powder highlight so i'm just taking becca's opal cream high, uh, liquid highlighter just dabbing it on where I'm going to apply my highlight and blending it out. So I'm going to apply this on my cheekbones, uh, my nose, Cupid's bow, and just the cream on my chin because I do have oily skin so I don't want my uh, chin to be super oily. Even with the liquid it looks really nice and cute but that's just not for me. 
the powder highlight, I'm going to be taking Becca's Opal Powder Highlight. I've been really more precise when it comes to highlighting my nose because I used to just be like carefree about it. There was no definition on my nose basically. And I've just been highlighting my nose like Carly Bible does. Just go lightly along the bridge of my nose. But I don't like to take it all the way down. I just like dab it and then blend it. And dab. Uh, Blend. More is more. So it's not connected, the highlight. And then for my cupid's bow, I just like to do it with my finger. Because, like, there's not a lot of space between my lip and my nose, if I do it with a brush, it kind of just goes everywhere. And after the lips, I'm just going to line my lips. I line my lips. My nips? Oh my god. I line my lips almost every single day now. So I just have this one from H&M in Au Natural. Au Naturel. Sorry, I'm keeping quiet. I should say it properly. And then... Line. And I'm going to do the same lip that I did in that picture. So I mixed the NYX Liquid Suede in 04. And then over top, because it doesn't dry entirely matte, I used NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Stockholm. I'm going to set my face with the Mario Badescu Facial, Mario Badescu facial Spray with the Rose Water Spray. Love this so much. This is the completed look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this look. I hope you recreate it or feel inspired by it as always with all my tutorials. As, as you can see, I did dye my hair. I am more blonde. I got streaks again and uh, toner this time because the first time I got gloss. So I'm just super excited to be a full blonde because my goal is a Khloe Kardashian um, type of blonde. So like a golden sunshine blonde. I really hope you like my new hair. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you like my videos. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.